Hey guys, and welcome to another water filter review video, this time featuring the Blue Viewa RO100 Ropot, which is a countertop reverse osmosis system. Now, a lot of you have asked for a review of this system, and it also performed pretty well in our big countertop RO system comparison featuring 10 different models, so we thought it would make sense to create a dedicated Blue Viewa review. Ready? Let's go. Okay, so as I just mentioned, we recently compared 10 of the most popular and most promising countertop reverse osmosis systems. And I'm gonna to link to that video somewhere here on the screen and in the description below. And in that video, we included lab testing for real life contaminant reduction. The Blue Viewa RO100 row pot was part of that comparison and it achieved some of the best filtration results. However, we only had time to kind of briefly mention the system at the very end of the video. So we wanted to create another video that would allow us to just really get into detail about the Blue Viewa RO100 Robot and cover all of its pros and cons and everything else that you need to know. Now that said, today's review is based on the same analysis that we did for our top 10 countertop RO system comparison. And we're gonna use that same Google sheet, which I'll also link in the description below. The sheet contains details about the Blue Viewa and the nine other countertop reverse osmosis systems. So you can feel free to compare the Blue Viewa against those if you'd like. We'll also do a quick comparison in this video against the AquaTrue Classic, which we consider to be the best countertop RO right now. Uh, but we're gonna have more on that later. And by the way, product links are also included in the description below and in the Google Sheet. Okay, first of all, after setting up the Blue Viewa RO, which I'll get into in a bit, how does the system actually work? Well, you simply fill the removable feed water tank and put it back. Then you place the included carafe or a glass or similar size container under the dispenser and use one of the two buttons to choose the amount of water you wish to dispense. So you can choose 0 0.13, 0 0.26, or 0.39 gallons. Then you hit the dispensing button and you wait for the water to filter. And that's really it, nice and easy. Next, let's discuss the filtration results the Blue Viewer could achieve in our lab testing. So essentially, we analyzed a sample of our raw tap water and compared that to a filtered water sample. Now, this allowed us to check for the reduction of undesirable impurities and contaminants present in our water supply. And we were happy to see that the Blue Viewer removed almost everything, 100% of chlorine, disinfection byproducts, copper, aluminum, barium, zinc, and lithium. Boron and strontium were removed to 90% and 98% respectively, so also really good. And we also saw a fluoride reduction rate of at least 76%. The lab couldn't quantify how much fluoride was removed precisely, but the concentration was reduced from around 0.42 milligrams per liter or PPM to less than 0.1 PPM, which means 76% minimum reduction, although it may have been much higher. Overall TDS reduction was at 91%, which is really good for this type of RO system, and it clearly shows that the RO membrane works as intended. So to summarize, the Blue Viewa RO100 Ropot performed really well in our lab testing with almost perfect results. And it also performed better than most of the other countertop ROs we tested. By the way, the system uses a four stage filtration process with a five micron sediment pre-filter in stage one, followed by a 0.5 micron carbon block pre-filter. Next comes the RO membrane. And then we have a 0.1 micron carbon block post-filter. This is pretty much the go-to process for point of use reverse osmosis systems, and there's nothing really special here. Of course, we also did a taste and odor test of the filtered water and couldn't find any issues. The water seemed perfectly clean. Aside from testing filtered water quality, we also did a pure to drain ratio test because as you might know, all RO systems waste water and we wanted to find out how much the Blue Viewer wastes under real life conditions. Well, it wasted about half of the input water, which, I mean, it's not that bad, but other countertop RO systems waste much less. We'll have more on that in a bit. Another test we did was how fast the Blue Viewa can dispense water. And because the system filters water on demand, it took around one minute and 19 seconds to dispense 12 ounces of water. Not very fast when compared to most of the competition, but still acceptable. What other features and pros do we have? We already mentioned the carafe that comes with the Blue Viewa. What we haven't mentioned is that it's made from borosilicate glass and not plastic, which I'm sure a lot of people appreciate as they don't really like the idea of their freshly filtered water sitting in a plastic tank. The glass carafe can hold up to 0.45 gallons of water. There's also a digital TDS display, which shows the TDS of the input output water. And this feature is great for checking the current state of your RO membrane, and it can be used together with the filter life indicators to determine the ideal time to change your filters. Finally, you can back flush the system manually if need be by pressing the two buttons simultaneously. What about installation and filter priming? The process is super straightforward and the filters are actually already installed inside the unit when it arrives. So all you need to do is follow the instructions in the manual. Wash the carafe and feed water tank, 
fill the tank, push the button to filter a full carafe of water. You discard that water once it's filtered, and it's recommended to repeat that process four to six times. After that, your filters are primed and you're ready to start enjoying your system. How about replacing filters? Well, the different filter stages last between 12 months and two years, and replacing them is easy and self-explanatory. Remove the side cover, pull the filter out at about a 45 degree angle, and twist counterclockwise to remove it. To install a new filter, just do that process in reverse. Speaking of filter replacements, you can expect to spend around $120 and $150 a year on new filters, which we find totally acceptable. The initial price tag of the Blue Viewer RO100 Rowpod on Amazon can vary, but it's usually around $400, which is pretty average. And there's also a one-year product warranty. Next, let's talk cons. Most importantly, and at this point in time, this Blue Viewer countertop lacks NSF certifications for contaminant reduction completely. According to Blue Viewer, they're in the process of getting NSF Standard 58 certification for TDS and Chromium 3 reduction, but this hasn't been published on the WQA's website yet, and we also don't consider TDS and Chromium 3 to really be the most important certifications to get. Now, to be fair, Blueview did conduct their own testing with solid results, but if we compare that to the AquaTrue Classic, which is currently our top recommendation when it comes to countertop reverse osmosis systems, the AquaTrue is officially NSF certified against standards 42, 53, 58, and 401 for more than 80 different contaminants and with solid reduction rates for impurities such as chlorine, chloramine, lead, chromium-6, arsenic, pesticides, trace pharmaceuticals, BPA, VOCs, fluoride, nitrate, PFOA, PFOS, and more. What this means is that you can safely rely on the AquaTrue Classic to greatly reduce most of the impurities and harmful contaminants commonly found in our water supplies these days. Compared to that, the test data for the Blue Viewer really needs to be taken with a grain of salt simply because it doesn't come directly from the NSF, WQA, or IAPMO with official NSF certifications. Another con is that the Blue Viewer brand or company website looks a bit thin. So for example, we couldn't find a US address. What's more, we checked third-party customer reviews and some people complained about the glass carafe being a little too fragile. And finally, there is the higher wastewater ratio as mentioned before. The Blue Viewer wastes around 50% of the input water, whereas the AquaTrue Classic wastes about one third. And other countertop row systems we tested waste as little as 15 to 25%. Okay, so what's our final verdict? We consider the Blue Viewer RO100 Ropot to be a solid countertop reverse osmosis system for sure. It performed well in our lab testing and we like its overall pros and features. The, the clear display, the glass carafe, the quick and easy setup and filter changing process. What we miss are NSF certifications for contaminant reduction, which again is why at this point in time, we prefer the AquaTrue Classic, which costs about the same if you use our 15% discount code. Now, if you insist on a glass carafe, we'd recommend the AquaTrue Carafe, which is like a smaller version of the AquaTrue Classic, but with a borosilicate glass carafe collecting the filtered water. The AquaTrue Craft is also a great budget pick if you use, you guessed it, our 15% discount code. I'll include all the info in the description below. For a more detailed comparison of the Blue Viewer RL100 ROPOT to the AquaTrue Classic or the AquaTrue Carafe and several other countertop reverse osmosis systems, remember to check our Google Sheet and our comparison video. We also have two videos on the AquaTrue Classic on our channel, so feel free to check those out as well. And that's it for today. Please don't hesitate to ask questions in the comments below and remember to like and subscribe if you want more content like this because we can only exist with your support. And let us know which water filters you'd like to see us review next. See you next time.